Hello, Taji. Hi, everybody. Welcome to one of my first videos. Look at this guy just stealing my screenshot like that. Rude. Anyway, we're going to go over real quick the how to, what do you need to do once you hit level 70, how to gear up quickly, what do all these vendors here at Rogers Reach do, and how to gear up quickly so you, you can join us in the end game content that we'll be doing. So first off, once you hit level 70, you're going to be able to start farming your Tombs of Genesis, which are right here. You can max out at 900 a week, uh, store 2,000. Pretty simple. Once you can start farming those, the best way to do that is to go into your dungeons, your duty roulettes over here on the side, do your daily experts, your daily 70s, 50s, 60s, and your leveling, which will also give you one of these great little craft clusters, which you can use to trade in for Materia 6 to slot in your new awesome gear. To start, to start getting that gear, go to Rogers Reeds, obviously. Talk to Ina here. Go to Tombs of Genesis. And here you can buy your 390 endgame gear. If you go to the bottom, to Other, she will sell you tokens. You need 10 of these tokens, which cost 1,000 to get your weapon. But you also need one other thing. And that one other thing you're going to need is from your Omega Rates, which is also the second best way to start gearing up besides grinding out those dungeons. You can start the mission here in Rogers Reach by talking to Jesse, and then start all those missions. You've got Delta Scapes, four of those, Sigma Scapes, and Alpha Scapes, total of 12. If you go to Alpha Scapes, go to your part exchange. Don't worry about these last three, those are for Savage content. But these middle three right here for Alpha Scape, let's go to Magic. By completing the Omega missions, they will give you these parts. And it requires a certain amount of parts for a piece of gear. Two of these will give you a hat. Four of these will give you a chest. So on and so forth. And it only requires one bolt to get some uh, right side accessories, which is great. That'll gear you up real quick. So do farm those Alpha Scapes. One of the things we're going to give you at the Alpha Scape number 4.0, the very last Omega Raid, is these Delta Scape Crystalloids. You only need four to get one of these military-grade tombstones, which is the second piece, the second item you'll need to get your 390 weapon. So once you get four of those, and you have 1,000 tombs if you want to get a weapon via the tombs, you would talk to this chick right here, go to your Scandinavian gear, that's what I call it anyway, Scandinavian, that's what it looks like, and then here you go, your 390 weapons. All right? They cost you 10 tombs, your 10 tokens, which cost 1,000 tombs, and your one military-grade tombstone. Other things this chick sells is your... Uh, another great way to get a weapon is, of course, always primals. Your endgame primal being Shinryu at item level 395. If you farm this with us on the weekends, like we're going to be doing on Fridays and Saturdays, you'll get a token for each clear. Sorry, a totem. And once you get 10, if your weapon doesn't drop, you can always come here and just purchase it at item level 395. I have done that for many of my alts. Instead of spending a thousand tombs for a weapon, I just farm it a couple times and get them, get them a primal weapon. And that's pretty much the vendors. The only other thing to mention here is if you are farming up your gear, the best way to do that is to do your dungeons, which also give you those tombs of Genesis we we're talking about, which you need for the 390 gear. But this last one here does um, have an item level entry of 360, but that drops 375 gear. Another great way to farm gear for alts and mains to get yourself up there so you can start farming those Omegas. Um, but this is the best way to gear yourself up. You go to a dungeon as you unlock it, you know, 60, 61 to 70 as you're leveling up, unlock your dungeon, farm it a couple times, two or three times, get the gear, move on to the next. Some of these don't unlock via main story, so you gotta Google those locations of where these other ones drop or unlock so that you can do them into them through the expert roulettes. Um, 
Second best way to gear up is through your raids. You can unlock these in Kugane. This is a totally different side quest mission, not tied to the MSQ. But doing these once a week will give you a coin. And if you come here to this chick and go to Wondrous Sundries, you'll see here you can buy uh, these Scandinavian twines and little potion bottles. And you get one of these coins from each of the three raids. So if you do these once a week and just get one of these coins per drop, all three coins, you get one of these, and then you can come over here to this last vendor here in Rolgers Reach, and she will upgrade your gear that you bought with the Tombs of Genesis from 395 to 400, which in the end is going to look like this with you having an average item level of 400. That's only if you do those raids once a week. And again, in your duty finder, do these three raids once a week. Resets on Tuesdays at 1 a.m. This last raid here only takes 365 item level to get in, drops item level 390 gear. For now, it's only once a week that you can get, you can only get one piece of gear once a week for now. Later on, they'll unlock that and you can just farm the heck out of it. So do this once a week, and you'll have 390 gear for your character from the raids. You can get 380 gear from your Omegas, uh, especially these Alpha Scapes down here at the bottom. Farm those. Farm your dungeons so you can farm those tombs at the same time. The only other way to get your gear up there and fast is Eureka. You guessed it. You can unlock that via the Pier 1 in Kugane. That'll give you this awesome weapon here, which is item level 405. Eureka is very easy. There's nothing to it. It's just time consuming. You just got to spend a couple hours, maybe three hours a day in Eureka for about two weeks, and you have Eureka be uh, beaten. In Eureka Pagos, I'm sorry, Pyros, you can get uh, 380 gear, which can upgrade to 390 later on in Hydros. So if you want to just farm Eureka, for your weapon. By also doing that, you can, you're can you also farming for gear too. So you can upgrade all those things via dungeons, via tombs, via omegas, via the weekly raids, or via the Eureka. And that's about it. I hope you like a little video I made for you guys. If you have any questions, hit me up in the Discord chat or FC, and I will see you next time. Thanks, Sachi. Have a good night.